Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about how you can get your audience to become engaged with you and to follow you and to subscribe to you and to take the actions that you want them to take. And it's really simple. You need to move beyond creating how to content. People do not want to be lectured to, they want to be entertained. And if you can entertain people, then they will do whatever your call to action, or majority of them will, whatever your call to action is. So, how do you move beyond the how to? It's quite simple. You have to start to show people, not tell them. Okay, show them the effect that the content will have. So, this is an article I wrote actually about move beyond the how-to. And you can see here, I showed them exactly where I was writing the content I am talking about. Um, I told them what I was listening to, where I was. I brought them inside my story and I showed them what the results were. Okay. Um, it's about, as it, said, it says here, crafting vivid, relatable narratives. Now, this image here, it's a belt and it's got lots of notches that are all used up. This is not just a belt. It could be a weight loss story. It shows exactly the process rather than saying, hey, look, I lost a load of weight by doing this. You show them the results. This is the result of basically walking every day and doing intermittent fasting and not eating uh, between 8 o'clock at night and 1 p.m. This here is. And he, well, it's another article I wrote. Okay, it's about the power of storytelling. But this was an email that I sent. Now, this email is about how great Oreo cupcakes or Oreo biscuits were. I did a challenge and I said to people, right, give me a topic to write about that I've never written about before. And it was called Death by Oreo Cupcakes. That's the one that was chosen. And I started by tech talking about being back in the 1970s and how life was black and white. And then there was this array of color coming through a TV set, which was uh, American TV shows where they showed Hershey's and Twinkies and Oreos. And how I eventually got my hand as a, as a kid, uh, I got my hand on some Hershey's, Oreos and Twinkies. And Hershey, Hershey's and, Ore and Twinkies were absolutely terrible. But Oreos, or Oreos delivered. They delivered everything they promised. From there, we can talk about what we're trying to sell or what we want our audience to do. So you build a story into what you want. You use images, you use uh, stories, you use, use cultural references. Uh, I slipped a cultural reference here about punk rock. Okay. So it, engages with your audience they can see what you went through it brings back memories to them uh yeah a few times when i've been writing emails you know i've been like crying and having tears in my eyes because of the things that i'm writing about and when people read that they also get emotional and when people get emotional then you know they're engaged and that is what you have to do Rather than writing dry how-to content, spin this web or weave a story about what you want to do. Now, a good way of starting this is to do 55-word um, articles. 55-word stories are exactly that, little stories with a beginning, a middle, and an end, but they can only have exactly 55 words. So before you sit down to write anything, you know, write that story. That gets your brain into a little story mode. You've got a 55-word story. Um, and your writing stories and take those experiences and stories and build them into your content. So that's it. Just a very quick video. Yeah. This works. This has worked for the last 20 years for me. Weave those stories into your content. Stop lecturing people. Stop telling them how to write content that shows people doesn't tell them. Thanks, guys. Bye.